Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. In this video, we are going to solve the question number 2 of Lead Code Weekly Contest 214. Name of the problem is Minimum Deletion to Make Character Frequencies Unique. Also, the solutions to other problems will be uploaded soon. So, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon if you haven't done already. Now, let's get into the video. A string S is called good if there are no two different characters in S that have the same frequency. Given a string s, return the minimum number of characters you need to delete to make s good. The frequency of a character in a string is the number of times it appears in the string. For example, in this case, a appears two times and b appears one time. So these are the frequencies. So how we can approach this problem? First of all, let us store the frequencies of each of the alphabet which is present in the string. So we can use a map for that or we can use a vector of size 26 for that. So once we are done storing all the frequencies, for example, let us say we have two A and a B. So we have two and one as the frequencies. Now we can keep a cutoff frequency F. So this is the cutoff frequency. Any element can have the frequency which is equal to this or is smaller than this and no element should have a frequency which is greater than this. So initially we are keeping the cutoff as 2 because 2 is the highest frequency that we have. So 2 is allowed. So we won't have to make any changes in this frequency. Now the frequency cutoff frequency which was initially 2 now it will become 1 because we have already exhausted 2. Now the other frequency is 1. So 1 is the maximum permitted frequency that is allowed. So 1 will be allowed and we won't have to make any changes. So for this case the answer will be 0 as we have here. Now let us take another example. Let us say we have example 3a, 3b and 2c. So a, 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 b, b, b and c, c. So we have the frequencies as 2, 3, 2 and 2. So what should be the maximum permissible frequency? The maximum permissible frequency is equal to 3 in this case anything which is smaller than 3 or anything which is equal to 3 is allowed. We can keep this frequency as high as we want but then we are keeping it as close as to the frequency of our elements. So 3 is the maximum allowed frequency. So this is allowed. We won't have to delete anything in this. Now the frequency for B, I'm sorry, it is 3. So the frequency for B is 3 but the allowed frequency will now be reduced to 2 because 3 is already used and now we are getting 3 as the frequency which is greater than the maximum allowed frequency which is 2 so here we have the frequency and here we have the frequency of the element uh, B so it should be lowered down to the maximum allowed frequency so we can see the difference the difference is uh, 1 here so 1 will be added to the answer and now the maximum allowed frequency will become f minus 1 that is 1 so this will reduce to 2 and now we are coming to the next frequency which is 2 but the maximum allowed frequency is uh, 1 here so we have to see the difference between these two the difference is 1 so again we will have to reduce the frequency of c to the maximum allowed frequency which is 1 so the difference is 1 here so 1 will be added to the answer and now the frequency of c will become 1 we will delete 1c as we have deleted 1b here so the total answer will be 2 now let us see one more example for the same let's say we have this example so in this case the frequency of a is 3 frequency of b is 2, frequency of C is also 2 and frequency of E is 1. Now what should be the maximum allowed frequency? The maximum allowed frequency could be anything but we should keep it as close as to the maximum frequency in the frequencies of character that we have. So it should be 3. So 3 is the maximum allowed frequency. So the first element is simply going to pass. Now coming to the next element, the maximum allowed frequency would now be equal to 2 because 3 is already used. So 2 is allowed. So this will also pass. 
now the maximum alert frequency is 1 and the frequency of next element is 2 again so we have to lower down the frequency of C to 1 so for that we will have to delete 1 C we will add 1 to the answer and delete 1 C from here and frequency of C will become 1 which is allowed and then the maximum alert frequency will become 0 the frequency of next element is 1 which is greater than the maximum alert frequency so we will have to lower down the frequency of E to 0 that is why we will be deleting 1 E and we will add 1 to the answer the frequency of E will be 0 which is the maximum alert frequency so the answer for this is 2 as well now F is the maximum alert frequency that we have and there might be a case let's say the frequency of first element is 10 so the maximum alert frequency is 10 and the frequency of next element is let's say 4 so when we are going to the first element 10 is the maximum alert frequency so we will simply pass and we will reduce the frequency to 9 so now as 9 is the maximum alert frequency so 4 should basically pass from here because all the frequencies ranging from 9 till 4 are not occupied so that is why we can simply pass from here but this time we won't be reducing the maximum alert frequency to 8 but instead of doing that we will reduce the frequency to 3 now 3 will be the maximum alert frequency instead of 8 why is it so? we can reduce it to 8 because the frequency 8, 7, 6, 5 are not used but the frequency 4 is used so in order to be on safer side we are just avoiding all these frequencies so that when we keep reducing the frequency we won't come to 4 again so that is why we are making the maximum alert frequency to 3 and it won't do us any harm if we sort the elements according to the frequency so what I'm trying to say is if we sort all the elements according to the frequency in descending order that means the elements which have the larger frequency appears first in that case in that case we know that the frequency of two adjacent elements could be same the frequency of this element cannot be greater than this element so that is why we can safely reduce the maximum alert frequency to the frequency of current element minus one so let's try to code this so that we can have a better understanding so first of all we need the frequency of all the elements so for that we are keeping a vector of int v of size 26 initially all the entries are 0 now we will go to each of the character in s and increment the frequency of each character a minus a plus plus now we have the frequencies and we need to sort this in descending order according to the frequency so we can simply sort the vector v so we can use the sort function v dot begin and v dot end and we should use the function greater here so that we can sort it in descending order now we have the frequencies sorted in the descending order and we are keeping the maximum alert frequency f as the greatest frequency that we have in the frequency array and which is equal to v of 0 so this is the maximum alert frequency now we will go to each of the frequencies one by one starting from the greatest frequency first if this frequency is greater than the maximum alert frequency that is F so in this case what we have to do is if F is greater than 0 in this case we have to add something to the answer and that is equal to A minus F otherwise so if it is greater than 0 what does it mean so if the fre maximum alert frequency if it is greater than 0 that means we have to lower down the frequency of the current element to F but in the case when the frequency is smaller than or equal to 0 that means we have to delete all the elements so we will have to add A to the answer now we have to reduce the maximum alert frequency so that could be minus 1 or that could be A minus 1 where is the frequency minimum of these two as we have already discussed and finally we have to return the answer let us take a variable answer here and initialize this with 0 let us now try to run this so 
so let us try to run this for this test case we are getting correct answer let us try to submit this now and it got accepted so we are using a constant space here because uh, it is of size 26 so the space complexity becomes 26 also the sort function we are using on the vector v which is a constant size vector so the time complexity uh, for the sort function is constant but then we are going to each of the characters in the given string s so for that the time complexity will become big of n where n is the number of characters in the string so this is to keep the frequency count so this is it for the solution if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and please share it with your friends I will be uploading the solutions of other problems from the contest so please hit the bell icon so that you can get notification to that thank you